Tape, day nine. I'm outside the house. The party's going strong. Oh, thank you. I just adore Tutti Fruity. <laughs> John Deere, the ambassador. Transfixed by Sonia's charm. Oh, go rescue him. And the best part of the whole thing is your mother in law will live in Hong Kong. <laughs> Oh, I guess you know that Phyllis and Oscar were married, and then divorced, and then married again. <laughs> the divorce didn't take. <laughs> but I don't know why, but I did sail from the Great Bahamas. And I can only tell you that the water was quite rough. Well, they, <laughs> they had to lash me to the bar. <laughs> but I lost at gambling. I really did. I... I dropped a bundle at the table. And you know, it isn't as though I don't pray, but sometimes I think God doesn't cover the Bahamas. Charlie? <laughs> when you realize that the Aruba hate the Bujambu, and the Bujambu hate the Watusi, and the Watusi despise the pygmies. Charlie? I don't know why, really. They're probably always looking up their PVDs. <laughs> <laughs> Before and I'll say it again. Sticks and stones may break my bones. That's why I never get into fights. <laughs> Be sure and get that window seat. Poco tape, day one. Two weeks since Dina Hunter was released from the hospital and cleared of manslaughter charge. It's rumored she settled close to a million dollars on the family of the man killed in the accident. Mr. and Mrs. Hunter and her jewels now departing ship.
great for you. I'm looking for us, Good to see you, Molly. Down, Amalia. But, Senora, I don't like looking at strangers. The hunters are at their villa. Everything on schedule. It's taken three years. Not worth it. Bermuda's setup was chicken feet compared to this. Marielena, Elizabeth. Bienvenida, señora. Gracias, y mucho gusto. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, no. Thank you, Amalia. I'll, I'll call if I need you. Por aquí, muchachas. Take day one. Well, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. One thing there's a staff. Lilia, Carmen, Maria Lena. Victor, the chauffeur. Then there's Dina. Very pretty. Very protected. But very vulnerable. my clothes over there. I'm skin diving for real.
right now. It's safe. About 30 seconds later, we might have met face to face. And usually not this unconventional. You shouldn't dive alone. There's a strong undercurrent here. I don't know so. I just moved here. I'm watching the Pearson place while they're away in Europe. The beats paying rent. I'm Carter. Paul Carter. Don't bother to uh, introduce yourself. La grande Senora Hunter. There's been a lot of talk about you coming home. wear swim trunks next time, just in case we bump into each other again. Not very likely. So long, neighbor. Contact established, more or less. I don't know if it's millionaire snobbishness or because he was just let out of the hospital. I'll just have to wait and see. I've been working on this Sam Cerise project for months. I think it deserves more than a casual glance. But I gave it more than a glance. No. You know something? I haven't rejected it. And it could work. But on the other hand, if you just sit on that same property, it could double in value. Double in hell? I'm talking about a source of primary... I know, I know. But that land's at a premium. And things are going to get better. Sit on it. I don't want to sit on it. We've been sitting on it ever since Dina's father died. I want to move. We've been sitting on it ever since Dina's father died. I want to move. I want to move. I want to move. I want to move. And I want to move. Dina. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Well, that's okay, honey. What do you think we ought to do with that land? Land? The San Cerise Cove project. George thinks we ought to sit on it. Oh. Oh, well, I, I'm sure George is right. Dean, there's been a lot of time and effort involved. I think we should move. Jerry, you do what you think is best. Do, do whatever you want with it. Look, I know you don't like me to say this, but after all, it is your money. I'd just like to know what you think. Dina. I really don't care, Jerry. Do whatever you want to. Just like that. Just like that. She really isn't herself, is she? You don't know the half of it. I'm sorry. I thought she'd gotten over the accident. Well, physically, she has. And she's still haunted. Well, this could be very good for her. I mean, a month or two in the sun, the sea air, do her the world of good. I hope so. Good night, George. I'll see you tomorrow. Say good night to Dean. Say goodnight to George for me. I'm sure George understood. Well, you just weren't with us, ma'am. It was our first dinner here, Jerry. It wasn't a board meeting. Well, we had to make a decision, an important one. Why did we come here? What do you mean? Are you going to spend all your time wheeling and dealing? Remember, and I'll help you. 
The doctor says you've got to help yourself first. You've got to get involved again. You've got to go out and meet the world. Laugh at it and fight it and be a part of it. Carrie, I just don't know. Lena, this project has forced both. I mean, I was just a beach bum who married money. Well, I'm not anymore. I want things to be ours, not yours. I want our money and our family. That's why I work so hard in San Cerise, because I want to make things happen. Cherry, I'm frightened. What? You're turning into the kind of man my father was. You mean rich? No, no. Driven. Compelled to push harder, make money no matter who it hurt. My mother died miserable. My father died running. I was running too. Trying to either get away or catch up. I, I don't know which. And then I was at the wheel of a car. And I couldn't stop. Going faster and faster. Dina, you've got to forget. You've got to make yourself forget. Nobody's going to do it for you. I'll try. I'll try. Okay. Listen, tomorrow night I'll take his last braces for dinner, okay? Just the two of us, I promise. No talk about work, okay? Okay. Stand there all afternoon, are you? If you are, that'll be all right. Well, you're full of surprises. I'm not rising from the sea. I'm bearing my inner soul on canvas. Would you like to buy it? No. No. The lady says no. Uh huh. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it a little bath. Why did you do that? Why not? I'll never finish it. Not now. You're used to cutting people down the sides, aren't you? No, I just don't like arrogant men. As bad as arrogant women? Would you pose for me? What kind of pose? Dark naked, dripping in jewels. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to me, Mr. Carter, that you're the one who's used to cutting people down to size. Well, that makes us even. Why don't you call me Paul? All right, Paul. I always thought artists had total recall. Oh, we do. We have total recall. Then why the memory box? Alcapogo tape. Day one. There's nothing as dull as my daily routine. Day one? I thought you'd been here a while. I started counting yesterday when you got here. Would you like to go for a swim? I've got trunks on a day. I do. Come on.
Senor? Yeah, I'm not quite ready yet, Victor. Did the Senor say when she'd be back? No, Senor. You don't know where she went? No, Senor. All right. I'll give her a few more minutes. See, si, Senor. I'll wait in the car. Okay, thank you, Victor. Now you say yes or else. Yes to what? That you'll pose for me. Yes, I'll pose for you. You promise? Yes. Uh, promise. Yes. You, you understand that my husband will have to approve the painting before we buy it. Yes. I expected that. Just as long as you understand. Nina? Day, isn't it, if Jerry? I'd known you were going down to the beach, I would have gone with you. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were busy. Yeah, well, Em, I've got a meeting, but I would have enjoyed a dip in the bay, but now I'm late. Jerry, haven't you heard? They have fiestas down here. Well, that's a luxury only the natives can afford. Darling, I do believe you're becoming a snob. No, I'm sorry. No siesta now. This meeting might take all day. Okay? All right. You have your meeting, but don't forget our dinner date tonight. Yeah, I meant to talk to you about that, uh... You promised. I know. I also promised to finalize the San Ceres project. That means working on with George tonight. He's leaving town. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, if I... Could... I know. But this is supposed to be a vacation. I wanted us to spend it together. I know. Well, if you just let me get this out of the way... I, I... need you now, Jerry. Not tomorrow or the day after. Now. Okay, I'll uh, see you in a couple of hours. Jerry. What would you do if I didn't invest my money in your project? I'd still do what I think is right for both of us. for sure. The next move has got to be mine.
Oh, excuse me. Well, that takes care of a good bottle of wine. Sorry, I... Uh... Nina? Nina? Come on, I'll fix you a drink. What do you have? Scotch and water. Hi. Didn't I tell you she was sensational? Flatterer. Paul Carter, this is Dina. Dina? Amali? There'll be uh, four for dinner tonight. The George will be here in about 15 minutes. They'll stay about a half an hour. Si, senor. Paul's a neighbor of ours. He moved into the old Pearson place. We bumped into each other in town, literally. I'd swear I know him somewhere, but he says no. Well, I've been telling him about our hospitality. Why don't you show him? I'll uh, freshen up a little bit, okay? I said I'd see you tomorrow. I couldn't wait for you. Don't play games with me. Is that what you think I'm doing, Dina? I don't know, and I don't think I want to know. Do you understand? Yes. They're coming through loud and clear. Tomorrow, when you sit for me, wear those earrings. They're perfect for you. Elegant, beautiful, and ice cold. I don't think I will, Mr. Carter. As a matter of fact, I don't think we need a painting at all. Of course we do. And so your portrait out. I think it's a great idea. Well? I'll think about it. Mr. Carter, do you know that area around the San Cerise Cove? I've heard of it. I've never been there. Nothing quite like it, Paul. Oh, you've done a great job. But the more I study it, the better I like it. A toast to the San Service Project. Tina? What? We're toasting my project. But you have the final say. Any objections? To San Service? Honey, if you'll excuse us, George and I'll have a little discussion and wrap this Don't up. Don't bother, dear. I'm sure Mr. Carter won't mind having his coffee on the patio. No, of course not. <clears throat> uh, Paul, uh, before I forget, uh, we're having a little reception tomorrow night, Lost Conscious. I'd like you to come. I'd like that. Thank you. Well, first of all, a Mexican citizen has to be the major stockholder. It's the law. Good, fine, get one. Make sure he's cooperative. You're an unusual man. You know when to be quiet. Maybe it's because I don't have anything to say. I get this feeling that, um, that you're trying to play me. I don't know what gave you that impression. But I've had the wrong impression about you. I had you sized up this rich, beautiful, and spoiled. But you're not anything like that. Just Mary. Yeah, Mary. No, I haven't forgotten that. What kind of a man is he? Jerry? Oh, he used to be a lot like you. Used to be? People change. That's inevitable, isn't it? He isn't what he seemed at first. But then who is? How did you meet him? On a beach. 
I'm very big at beach pickups. It was three years ago. My father objected, of course, so that made it perfect. Whirlwind romance, instant marriage, and now he's all wrapped up in business. <laughs> Do I sound disloyal? No, just disillusioned. Well, somebody changed. Maybe it was me. I don't know. After my accident, they say that your whole personality. What's wrong, Nina? I don't know. Why am I talking to you like this? We don't know that much about him. Well, he's a relief from the Medicare set we usually get down here. <laughs> Tell me for that way. Let's not talk about him. He must be a pretty fair artist. Otherwise, he couldn't afford to live down here. You want me to pose for him, then? But sure, why not? Honey, I think this fan three spot is going to be wound up in about 24 hours. Kiss me.
Bravo tape, day two. I spent this morning keeping watch on the villa from the beach. I'm doing a painting for paint. Here comes Dina now. Accidental meeting with Jerry Hunter went perfectly. But after dinner, it didn't go so well. Reflecting on the event so far, my conclusion, I have to move deadline ahead. I don't know whether Dina will sit for the portrait after what happened. Can't risk waiting for the opportunity to get in the house alone with her. I'll have to be at the reception. The setup is similar to the one in Bermuda. Two hours. Two hours in that closet waiting for him to go to bed. I thought I'd lose my mind. I can imagine. But you say there's nothing you can do. Senora Hunter, you are a very valued resident here. But Senor Carter is an American citizen. And to arrest him without evidence. What does your husband think of all this? You've told him, of course. No. Hmm. And the tape recorder you mentioned? Pity you couldn't bring it with you. It was all I could do just to get away. Oh. Senora Hunter, do you wish to make a complaint against Senor Carter? There would be a hearing in which you would have to testify. Hmm? Very well. I'll make some inquiries, why the American authorities see what is known about this man. It will take some time, of course, perhaps a few days. At the reception tonight, I'll wear the emeralds he's after. Will you be there? I was expected elsewhere, but... Uh, I'll come. Thank you. And may I wish you a speedy recovery, senora, from your accident. Most unfortunate. It takes time to recover from such a shock. Well, I've had time, Commissioner. And the injuries were physical. My apologies. I had heard that you were still unable to bring yourself to drive a car. A natural reluctance, of course. But perhaps I was misinterpreting the reason. Por las dudas, manda dos personas a la recepción de esta noche. Sí. I'll 
drive. You've gotten bored in business in Washington. Uh, sure, I can handle Senor Verosa. He'll be at the reception tonight. Yes, I know he's the key, and we'll get the okay from the planning commission. I'm uh, sure Dina will be there. She'll be a great help. Blondes are scarce down here, you know. Yeah, she's not home now. I don't know where she is. Probably getting her hair fixed. Okay, I'll tell her. And listen, George, I appreciate everything you've done. Okay. I'll call you soon. Adios.
do you think you're doing? I think it's time we both play it cool, don't you? I I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. Dina. Bravo, senora. Great performance. Carter, did you see him? He was watching me. We were all watching you, senor. No, he was watching this. This is what he wants. But he's gone. Well, he was here, watching, stalking me all the time I was dancing. And then he left. Senor, I was watching him. Oh, you're wrong. You're wrong. Senora. I'm sorry about my wife, senor. She's not at all like that. Your wife is disturbed, senor. Very disturbed. Por favor. Uh, what happened? Oh, he's trying to kill me. He, he wants to kill me and steal my... But you still have them, senora. Nina, what are you talking about? He was here. He was here. Well, search the ground. What is all this? You have my deep and very real sympathy, senor. What is all this about Paul Carter? My men will search the ground. But... But what? He left some time ago. It seems that your wife has some kind of uh, obsession about this man. <laughs> Dina, come on, let's go. Come on. Vardy doesn't believe me, does he? Never mind about Vardy. I believe you, Dina. Come on, now, let's go. Come on. Dina, Dina, come on. I believe you. I'm afraid the help is still at mass, Doctor. I'll drive you back to town. Thank you. Do you think Dina should be left alone in the house? With sensitives I gave her, she should sleep another two hours, at least. What do you think is really wrong with her, Doctor? With all respect, Senor Hunter, I suggest you call in a psychiatrist.
one way or another. I'm going to do it now.
police. I was gone, you were gone. I killed him. Killed? What are you talking about? I had to. Paul's murder was New York, Bermuda, for the jewelry. Carter. You're talking about Paul Carter, huh? He came today. He must have watched you leave the house. I tried to hide, and then he came to the back of the house, and I ran. I took the car, but he chased me along the cliff road. So I killed him. I just turned the wheel, and he was dead. That poor man lying there. Bleeding. Tina! must be around here somewhere. Here's his tape recorder. Dana, you've got to listen to me. If I can't talk to you, I'll leave this tape recorder with Amalia. Now listen, in case anything happens to me, give this to the police. All the evidence is here on tape. Now listen carefully. You're wrong about me, why I'm here. The girl who was murdered in New York, his first victim, was my sister. I've been trailing him ever since. I almost caught up with him in Bermuda. I even found an earring he lost getting away. That was three years ago. But Dina, it's Jerry, your husband. I've got to convince you. One way or another, I'm going to do it now. So that's where I knew him from. Bermuda. Don't look so shocked, my dear. It's too bad, really. For a while, I thought about stopping after I missed on that first try. You know, those brakes didn't fail by themselves. But then I was afraid another accident might raise suspicion. But for all that money, being that close to money, but never really having it, like some puppy on a leash. Three years I waited and planned. Jerry, you'll never get away with it. Paul's got to be around here somewhere. He's somewhere in these rocks. And I hope he's not quite dead yet, because I want to thank him personally. See, there'll be another banner headline. Jewel murderer Paul Carter dies with his final victim. If that's any comfort to you, Dina, you can take that thought with you that you'll definitely be his final victim. Jerry, you'll never get away with it. After you've accused Paul of being the murderer in front of all the people in Acapulco, practically? <laughs> no, it's going to be Paul and you over the cliff in one final death struggle in a speeding car. And then it's ended, and I'm home free. Paul. Hello, Paul. I don't think you're in any condition to argue. <laughs> 